good day everybody and welcome to model kit beginner today with something from uh, right after before and after the war the uh, as uh, many art calls it the type 170 v fruit delivery van it's obviously is a mercedes 170 and uh, you can see it here right over here i'm sure you have seen it already and uh, it comes in the very nice mini art box. They have one of the best box arts in the world, don't they? Just, I mean, you can see. And uh, on the side, there's not much interesting stuff going on apart from here. Can you see it? Yeah, this is uh, the different uh, types of Mercedes you can build. Is there decals for all of them? We'll find out in a minute. But in his 135, and lots of people say, well, Mini Art is very fiddly, and it is, can be very fiddly, but uh, I think it's, it's, uh, it's worth it because they have wonderful, wonderful subjects. And uh, normally their kits are not bad quality in the box. If, it is, if this one is got a bad quality, we will find out a little bit later. But before we do that, how about uh, popping over to Scalemates and have a quick look at the history. And here we are, uh, Scalmates with the fruit delivery van. And Scalmates is not beating around the bush because everybody knows it is a Mercedes Benz 170. See that right over here. This particular kit is 2021, and uh, uh, Mini Art obviously taking a leaf out of Hasegawa's book and uh, re releasing kits left, right, and center. Here you see what I mean. First one came out in 2012. And there is a re-release up to here. Apparently, that's the last one, uh, it's, which is the one we are having a look at, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. So you see that over here, and those boxes apparently are in there as well. So we'll have a look. I'm just going to show you quickly what are my favorite iterations of these particular series, and I would possibly get in the future. It is, I mean, just look at the box art. You know, the old Jew 52 at the back, and then it's a uh, classy lady with his Mercedes 170 V very very nice I like the trunk at the back two-tone I mean that's just beautiful and then the other one is the cabriolet very very nice as well also love the box art not so sure about the mustache of this gentleman but apart from that very nice but we are having a look at this one which is the fruit delivery van. Van uh, is uh, in German Lieferwagen, as it says there at the back. So they just pop it in in German to make it look a bit more authentic. But that's it. And I'd, I'd suggest we pop down to the bench and see what is in that box. And if I've promised too much. All right. See you down there. And here we are looking at the fruit delivery van or the Mercedes 170 in a Lieferwagen outfit, outfit for a delivery van. And let's have a look what the box has to offer. Right, we have an instruction sheet, normally very nice. And we have one big bag of plastic with everything in it. It was not too exciting. Hold on. So I would suggest let's have a quick look at what this instruction sheet is all about. Uh, it promises us a highly detailed model. Oh, here are already some of the. There's one with uh, German fruit, Deutsches Obst, and then we have one with eat more fruit and you stay healthy. It's like a German version of an apple a day. And uh, yeah, very cool. Two tone, obviously, three tone. That one. See, it's white and the light green and the dark green. So that's a three tone. That's a, a two tone. Then we have um, uh, the possibility to check our spruce right over here, and you can see already quite a few parts. Quite a few parts around here. I didn't see a part count on the box. Let me just double check here. 
No. No Parton on the box. I haven't counted them here as well. If I have to guess, probably 120, 30 parts, but that's just a wild guess. Might be even more. Right, then we have the engine right over here. And as always with Mini Art, it is highly detailed, lots of small parts which you need to put and fiddle together. Normally very good fit, but it's still fiddly. Oh yeah. Uh, if you don't have magnifiers, you, know, you get yourself those. Then uh, we have the frame, put the engine in the frame, exhaust uh, right over here. That's the exhaust assembly. Um, uh, then here, front bumpers right over here. And what are we having here? Now this is the cockpit. All right. We have that over here. So, uh, oh, this is where the, where the tank goes in. All right. Yes, right in front next to the engine. Oh, with safety first. Right, and then we have uh, that firewall with the tank. <laughs> boy, oh boy. And then the dashboard right over here. Front part with the dashboard. We have the floor with different seat arrangement. Of course, there's only one front bench, given the fact that's a van. You see, this is mini art for you. You have a tire. Let me get a bit closer so you can see. You have a tire. The tire is made out of four parts. And obviously, you also have the uh, rim right over here. What is nice is that you can paint the tires separately from the rim, not with other 132 and 135 models I've experienced uh, lately. They're all is one and you have to paint it separately. Um, but yeah, four parts for a tire. That's a bit, I don't know if that is exactly necessary, but it is what it is. Then you see the spare tire right over here, it goes in there. Then the assembly over here, you have the steering wheel. Funny that that isn't at least three parts. Then you have uh, you can have it with open or a closed back gate and front door. I think I'll have an open back gate. I think so. And uh, here's the engine bay, which you can also display open or closed. There. Oh, look at that! You have that fantastic roof rack. Didn't even. Uh, Realized there was that fantastic roof rack. So here it is. And here we are. Here you have the boxes with fruits. Different fruit boxes. I don't know how good a fruit painter I am, but we will find out. We will find out. And then at the end, it should maybe look something like this. So that's what I'm aiming for. And if you look here on top, you have uh, cutouts for different posters, which you then can put against your door. That's pretty cool. That is very cool. I like that a lot. Then here's another version you can do it. Another uh, fruit wagon. This is more of a yeah occupation, American occupation zone. So that's right after the war. Have that right over here with all the others. I didn't say. I didn't say. Okay, but this one is certainly dated very well because it has the American occupation zone uh, license plates as well on top. And then you could extend your market garden, get the market cart or the fruit cart. Yeah, I think I passed that one. But what I won't pass is this particular bag. So let's get let's get a knife. Pop this open. Here we go. Right. I'll pop it all here next to me and then I'll, I'll show it to you piece by piece. As we usually do, we start with the D count. Are these the only D counts I have? So you have uh, different D counts. These are the D counts from the one from the box art. You can see, we can actually go down a little bit here, I think. I have my manual zoom. Here we go. Right, here you have the box art decals on top, then the decals from the one from the American occupation zone, then there are white decals right over here. Then you have pre-war decals and American uh, occupation zone decals 
right over here. I'm not going to take them out because they're packed together with the glass. I'm going to take the glass out. You can see everything is uh, it's not in, all in one. So every pane is separate and then obviously you have the front and rear lights, indicators, etc. Right, that's pretty cool. And then we have this uh, little box, which is uh, a little sheet, which normally is a pretty good indication that we have a bit of PE involved here. And so it is. Only the one. Here we go. There you can see the PE sheet. Most important part probably being the front grille. And then look at that. That's the steering wheel. Well, it's probably right in scale, but gee, it's thin. And uh, they have Mercedes emblems. I like to go a little bit closer so you can see them. There you see the Mercedes emblems. Very cool. And then other stuff, which is very small. And these, these are the safety belts. Are you kidding me? Nobody had safety belts before or after the war. <laughs> anyway, maybe it's not. Maybe it's something else. Some other straps which go somewhere else. Um, uh, yeah, very nicely. There's plastic front and back. So that's just all very nicely sealed. And we have some beautiful PE parts available. Then I'd say let's go and start with the plastic, shall we? Here we go. So these are the engine parts. It looks all very nice and clean. Smaller engine parts. Here is your tank. Let me go a bit closer here. Because it's really smaller parts. So we need to get as close as possible. Here you see the springs. The springs are coiled separately. Here you go. I'm slide molding going on here. Oh wait, can we see it? Yeah, we can see it. Right. Beautiful parts. Look at this. It's really very nicely detailed. Then look at the inside of the door. Isn't that nice? With the map pocket right over here. And inside and outside door are separate. Front and back. These are the front doors. These are the back doors. On the inside. Outside is just the other way around. So that's pretty cool. I like that. I like it. I think that's, that already looks uh, very promising. Oh boy, a whole handful of these here. I assume these are the fruit boxes. Yes, I see a whole bunch of bananas here. Mother fruits, mangoes. I don't know who had mangoes after the war in Germany. I tell you who had mango, nobody had mangoes. So that's the same. And here we have apples and other fruit pears right over here so this is quite something to have this uh, detailed and colored realistically I will need to find some help with that and these are crates oh the top part of crates I would assume yeah and are these single fruit oh boy you're kidding me are these are they yeah so this is something which uh, you know, when you are in the hangout on an evening, you are not in the mood to do anything which is too taxing. And you take your fruit sprues and start cleaning them up. Here we have, outside we have my wild dogs, as you might have heard. Here we have the crates. Here you go. Look at the detail here. That's not bad. It's not bad. Always keeping in mind it's 1 to 35. Not bad at all. Like that. It's pretty cool. Right, we have three of those. Then the famous tires. <coughs> oh, sorry. Having a little sneeze here. Right, these are all tires. Let's have a look at them. They are all. These two are identical, these two. So I'm just going to show you what. Right, we have uh, part of the seat right over here. We have door handles, which you can see over here. Not bad, not bad. Uh, other parts right over here. 
and then obviously all the tires and uh, and the rims right over here and uh, the brake look at the detail on the brakes jeez that's pretty cool you know not gonna get that with the average uh, amt kit that's for sure very cool like that and then we have one i guess that's the one for the spare tire we just have the spare tire right over here thread on the tire is very nice as i said all has to be assembled each tire out of four different parts just know that in advance then we have one over here which has the frame right over here these are the engine flaps here we go right see the detail right over here not bad not bad as the top of that here is the dashboard I didn't see any dashboard decals so I guess and the dashboard decal I don't think there were dashboard decals huh? no they weren't yeah so you are on your own detailing this and this is a firewall where the tank goes in here is the pan with the inside running board right over here here's a bench so I'm not quite sure where the seat and where the bench comes in probably have a choice of either or uh, radiator right over here bumpers steering wheel oh so that wheel which we saw there was not a steering wheel the steering wheel looks pretty much complete here the P part is for something else all right okay and uh, drive shaft right over here gear lever just going to show you a little bit of the decal handbrake right next to it suspension parts right over here that's all not bad at all have you seen a body i haven't seen a body all right so is that oh you build the body yourself of course yeah of course what did, what was i thinking so here's another part of the pan so i don't think you're going to use that one or you're not going to use that i'm not sure um, shall i shall i have a look in the in the instruction which one we are using i would guess it is this one here but let's just make sure shall we um da4 it says let's have a look come on mark this a little bit better anyway that's number four on this on this sprue so i would assume this is ours because this one is not number four number 36 so you have a spare should you buy another one and i might if i enjoy that one Anyway, this is the body. This is the, all the parts of the body. Here's another seat. I guess that's the seat we are really using. All the other seats there for other models. Um, this is the pan with the bench, which comes right over here. Drive shaft tunnel. See uh, some of the locks for the uh, for the engine uh, covers. There's the front piece. There's some parts so this is where we saw that this is goes somewhere oh that's a that's the uh, wall between the passenger and the loading department there's a roof very nice roof haven't seen did you see the roof rack me neither right these are the uh, rear. so you can very nicely detail so it is obviously a three color if you try if you uh, doing the version of the uh, the version of the which is on the box art let me show you quickly what I want about 
So you see it's a tree, tree color, so it's that white and then this light green and then the dark green. Now it's not that difficult because as you can see, let's go back to the camera, as you can see, uh, this one can be painted apart and then the body obviously you paint apart as well. So obviously the putting on of the body onto the lower part without, hmm, yeah. All right, so there are different ways you can do that. Anyway, looking at the parts, that's what we are here for. Looks all very, very clean. The entire uh, spruce, which I had a look through, looked all very, very clean. And I must tell you, I've had some iffy kits from Mini Art before, but this is certainly not one of them. Uh, very nice, very, very nice. The detail on some of these parts is really outstanding. I was, must say, I was. Uh, I was kind of impressed with that. Right, let me put that all back together again. And this, ladies and gentlemen, was what we had to see on the bench of the fruit delivery van, or in other words, the Mercedes 170, from the fine folks over at Mini Art. Let's go meet upstairs to say goodbye. Cheers. So here we are, back on top with our a nice uh, fruit delivery van 170V. Looks a lovely kit. Nice, nice detail. I found this particularly nice touch that they have uh, cutouts for the posters right over here. Here we are, there, and different ones. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, uh, it'll be interesting to detail that inside of the wood right over there but wrong hand my hand cannot go in front of the picture but you see that open door that has wood on the inside and you obviously need to weather that accordingly uh, three colors and a beautiful roof rack and i think it's a lovely lovely piece of history which we're having there the pre-war mercedes 170 in all kinds of liveries so you can knock yourself out and it certainly is uh, very detailed i i think it is very detailed well thanks very much for popping in hope you enjoyed this um little review of the cedars type 170b and uh till the next time i remain uh, with greetings from cape town